Colix, the Honorable Andrew Esiema Amwako, the Member of Parliament for Formula Constituency. The member, the member that is holding the balance in this house. I have the letter in my hands and I'll proceed to read the contents to all of you. The letter emanates from his office and is dated 13th January 2021. The right honorable speaker, Office of Parliament Osu Akra. Dear sir, declaration to do business with the MPP caucus. I, Andrew Esiema Amwako, an independent member of parliament for Formina constituency, and now the second duty speaker for the A parliament, do hereby declare that I shall, for purposes of transacting business in the House, associate with the MPP caucus in the same parliament. For the avoidance of doubt, I do hereby affect I shall cooperate and collaborate with the MPP caucus in the eighth parliament. Dated, dated this 13th day of January, dated this 13th day of January 2021. Yours faithfully. Signed, Honorable Andrew Esiema Amwako, MP Situation. And copy to the leader of the MPP caucus. With this official declaration to the House, the House will accord him the space to do as he has stated. Whatever he said outside was of no effect so far as the business of the House is concerned. And therefore, he had to do it officially for it to be read and captured in the Hansard. And so what we have now, you have the new Patriotic Party wing or caucus in Parliament together with the independent member of Parliament from Formina. And they now constitute the majority majority group.
You are just majority group, majority group, not caucus group. Majority group. Premature, premature ejaculation. Honorable members, shouts of this nature will not be tolerated. When you're in this house, you are speaking to the speaker. You are addressing the speaker. When you want to speak to your colleague, soon the house will soon be broadcast life, families, your kings, your children will all be observing you on the floor. And then we will see whether you continue not to exhibit parliamentary behavior. So, honorable members, let's listen to the honorable member for Swami in silence. The speaker, right honorable speaker, as I indicate, on the occasion of your coronation as the speaker of the eighth parliament, arise on behalf of the caucus that is soon to be declared as the majority caucus. Yeah. And on my own part, to express our congratulations to you. Right honorable speaker, for 28 continuous years of your adult life, you have rendered service as a member of parliament to this country. You hold a record that is going to be extremely difficult to break. 28 years, continuous years of good service to this country. Mr. Speaker, I know that some gun with you got their stay in this house truncated. They have recycled themselves. Let's <laughs> 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 I don't know. <laughs> I don't know whether you have the good fortune to match your record, much more to break that record. The speaker. You are not one of the members of parliament through parliament for all these years. You have positively impacted the development of parliamentary democracy since entering parliament of the Constitutional Legal and Parliamentary Affairs Committee through your position as the minority years, majority leader for a total of four years, Minister of State for two ministries, and second Deputy Speaker in the Seventh Parliament. And now, by the mighty hand of divine providence, to experience a second transmogrification in your life. <laughs> yeah. Speaker, I, I am still a human being. It is, it is most unfortunate, as you yourself related to, that the processes leading to your ascension to the high office of the third citizen of this country were characterized by unfortunate, regrettable, and indeed reprehensible incidents. This house must work together to ensure that these unfortunate